Hi, I'm Joe and you're watching Phone House Online and today we're going to be taking an in-depth look at the brand new HTC Desire 620. Now this is the successor to the popular 610 model and is another attempt by HTC to jump into that lucrative mid-range smartphone market and just as younger siblings so often are, it's more trim, better looking and a bit more affordable than its predecessor. So let's take a closer look. Well, the HTC Desire 620 improves on the 610 in almost every way. Let's start with design. There have been several design changes which have been made to make this big screen phone easier to manage. It's thinner at 9.6 millimeters thick and the tacky glossy back is gone, replaced by a nicer, glossier looking matte finish. The two-tone design is a bit of a case of 50 shades of gray, coming in gray blue, white gray and gray orange and gray dominates the overall look in each case. Up front the screen bezel is now thinner down the sides and there's a single row of new look front facing speakers. The back then clips away to reveal the micro sim and micro SD card slot to expand the 8GB internal memory. The last of the notable changes is HTC's decision to move the volume rocker and a standby button down onto the side of the phone to create a less cluttered design. The 5 inch Super LCD screen has a 720p HD resolution with a 294 ppi pixel density which matches the Moto G2 for sharpness. There's a bigger screen to power this time so the slight jump up in price will come as no surprise. Moving on to the camera and there's an 8 megapixel main camera with a 28mm lens and an LED flash. That's the same setup as the 610 had, although things have changed on the front with an improved 5 megapixel BSI sensor. Both cameras are equipped to record an impressive 1080p full HD video. Now looking at the operating system and navigation, the 620 runs Android 4.44 KitKat with Sense 6 overlaid on top and is also powered by a new quad-core Snapdragon 410 processor. The successor to the Snapdragon 400 CPU is guaranteed to be the mainstay for mid-range phones from the likes of HTC, Sony and LG this year, bringing a 32-bit and 64-bit support as well as quick charge technology. The 410 CPU is accompanied by an Adreno 306 GPU to take care of 3D gaming, video streaming, and one gigabytes of RAM to handle multitasking. Onto the battery, and it operates a 2100 mAh battery. We're unsure what the actual talk time, standby time, that kind of thing is going to be yet, but if it's good, that could well be the factor that sets it apart from its rivals in this crowded marketplace. Having a look at the memory, as we've already mentioned, it has 8GB internal memory with 1GB of RAM, but that's expandable to a whopping 128GB with the micro SD. Looking at what could potentially be seen as cons for the 620, it is a little pricier than its rivals, for example the excellent Moto G2, and you don't seem to get much more bang for your buck. That being said, if that battery life is a big improvement on other handsets, that could be what sets it apart. So there you have it, that's the verdict on the HTC Desire 620. It's a good, capable mid-range smartphone that's not quite as expensive as something like an iPhone, an S4, or jumping up to an HTC One. That being said, it is kind of pricey for the market, and there are some competitors that do the same thing but will cost you a little bit less. Three out of five.